A very wonderful morning to my esteemed listener out there. I am Yemi Grisman Adoloju, welcoming you to today's edition of our program, Daily Impact. Beginning from today, I'd like us to consider the walking faith. Faith. Faith is the indispensable companion of the Christian pilgrim, our companion that cannot be dispensed with. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse number 1, the Bible says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith is so critical, so crucial to the success of the Christian's journey, to the success of any endeavor here on earth. Faith is vital. It is very crucial to a life of victory. The working faith is a productive and a fruitful faith. Faith can be productive and fruitful, and that is the working faith. It produces result. The working faith I am talking about gets answers. In James chapter number 1 and in verse number 6, the Bible says, But let him ask in faith. And so the working faith is a faith that secures answers to prayers. It gets answers. Secondly, the working faith is a faith that obtains promises. In Hebrews chapter 11 and in verse number 33, the Bible says, Those who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, and obtained promises. They obtained promises through faith. In Hebrews chapter 6, verse 12, God's word says that ye be not slothful, but followers of those or them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Through faith and patience, they inherited the promises. So, faith gets answers, faith obtains promises, and thirdly, faith guarantees victory. In 1 John chapter 5, Verses 4 and 5. 1 John chapter 5, verses 4 and 5. The scripture says, For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Verse 5 says, Who is it then that overcometh the world? But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Faith guarantees victory. Faith is like a two-edged sword. It's double-sided. It guarantees victory. And also, number four, it works off evil. It is both victorious and protective in nature. Faith protects. It defends against the fiery darts and attacks of the enemy. And that's exactly what the scripture says in the book of Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 6 and in verse number 16, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And so the productive, the working faith is a productive faith. The working faith is a faith that gets answers. The working faith is a faith that obtains promises. It is a faith that guarantees victory. It is a faith that works off all the fiery darts of the wicked the fiery darts of the enemy. Faith is an indispensable tool in our journey as believers in Christ Jesus. Faith is vital. Without faith, you cannot please God. The Bible says, For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seeks him. Faith is a rewarder. He rewards those who diligently seeks the Lord. It is a reward. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse number 6. And so faith is very vital. You cannot obtain anything from God outside of faith. You cannot walk with God outside of faith. Faith. Enoch walked with God by faith. You stand by faith. You are justified by faith. You are victorious by faith. You obtain promises by faith. You take steps of faith and get answers of faith. The walking faith. 
Is your faith working? If your faith is not productive, then it is not a working faith. Or you do not have faith. Your faith may be as small as the mustard seed, but it has the potential to move mountains and secure promises and advance destinies. May your faith be a working and a productive faith. May your faith get answers to all your prayers and requests. May you obtain all the promises of God for your life and destiny through faith. May you be victorious in every battle of life, in every challenge or challenges of life. May you be victorious through the power of faith. And may you, by faith, ward off all the fiery darts of the enemies. May all satanic arrows directed against you go back to senders in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be in Jesus' precious name. Amen. We are approaching the climax of 10 days at Shiloh. Testimonies of the mighty move of God abounds. And I therefore invite you to join today, day 7 at Shiloh. It promises to be explosive. 5.30 p.m. at the Light Cathedral, Lighthouse International Christian Center, Samanda UI Road, Ibadan, Nigeria. You may wish to join on any of our social media handles. On Facebook at LICCNG1, on Twitter at LICCNG, on YouTube at Lighthouse International Christian Center, online radio www.lightimpactfm.com. Until I come your way again tomorrow morning for another exciting edition of our program, I am Yemi Grisman Abduluju, wishing you a very wonderful day. The Lord bless you.